Let's say your friend comes up to you and he's never watched anime in his life and he's asking you for an anime recommendation. Since you've watched anime, you've watched countless of animes, what anime would you recommend him? Here's the answer, Death Note. Death Note is the anime you're going to recommend to him. I'll tell you why. So Death Note is the anime I will always come back to and rewatch it. It's one of the first animes I've actually seen. I remember watching it in elementary school. I remember them playing it on TV as well and talking to my friends at school about it. Now, this anime is very different from most of the anime I tend to watch. In the sense that the main character isn't necessarily good, right? Like, Light Yagami isn't a good person. He's evil. Yet sometimes you find yourself rooting for him. I don't know why that is, but that's the case for many viewers of Death Note. So, Death Note, in my opinion, has the best start to any anime. The first 15 episodes of Death Note are phenomenal, right? You get the whole cat and mouse games with L, you get the Death Note introduction, you get this like, Kira has like Light Yagami, that's the main character. He has this like God complex about him and he's such an intriguing character that you just wanna keep watching and watching more. So usually when you recommend an anime to a newcomer, right? As someone that's never watched anime in their life, they will watch the first two episodes and then drop it. They won't watch anymore because they're bored. I'm telling you Death Note will keep them intrigued. Death Note will keep them intrigued. Now, obviously it depends on their taste as well. If your friend doesn't necessarily like dark, uh, like more creepy stuff, I guess he wouldn't like Death Note or she wouldn't like Death Note. However, if they're okay with anything, give them Death Note, please. Light is such a great protagonist. L is such a great antagonist. The series, like, okay, for, for those that don't know what Light and L's relationship is like, it's like that of Cat and Mouse. L is hunting down Light. Light is trying to run away. And these two characters are extremely smart. Like when I say smart, they're playing like 4D chess. Like they think of things you're not even thinking of. And it's when the reveals drop, you're like, wow, this guy's intelligent. For example, I'll show you how intelligent these characters really are. We're gonna talk about L for a second, okay? This is like literally in the first couple of episodes when we meet L. So L is trying to find out where Kira is, okay? Kira, by the way, if you don't know, is Light Yagami. He's basically claiming this persona as Kira and he's trying to claim himself as the god of the new world and he's randomly killing people around the world with the Death Note. If you don't know what the Death Note does, then you're literally living under a rock. The Death Note is a book where you basically write someone's name in and that person will die. So Light or Kira, whatever you want to call him, is a very smart high school student who found this Death Note and is starting to kill people around the world and people are starting to find out that these aren't just coincidences. These deaths someone is doing this right but they don't know how this person is killing they don't understand why like the whole world is confused okay and it's like it's literally shown and people are starting to worship kira right as like some sort of new god and he gets like this entire god complex which is it's so enjoyable to like just watch progress so obviously the police are starting to investigate this case, this Kira case, and they call one of their prime detectives. His name is L. Now L, we don't know what he looks like. We don't know who he is. We just know that this person is like some sort of genius as well. And he narrows down Kira is in Japan within a day, I believe. And do you know how he does this? So what he basically does is he broadcasts a video and claims that the broadcast is around the world, right? And he says, L, I mean, Kira, I am coming after you, right? And he's using a double, a stand-in, right? Someone is broadcasting under L's name, right? He's like, I am L, I am going to find you, Kira, okay? And his full name is there because Kira, in order to kill someone, he needs the face and he needs the name. So he needs to see you and he needs to kill you. So Kira falls for the trap and kills this like stunt double that L had. And then he's like, remember how I said I was broadcasting this around the world? Well, I'm not. I'm only broadcasting this in Japan. And right then and there, we already know that Kira is in Japan. Like this man is a genius. And not only that, we find out not only is he in Japan, but he needs a face and a name to kill. But we don't know exactly what he needs, but the police think he needs a face to kill at least, at the very minimum. Minimum. So yeah, if you wanna get your friends into anime, you recommend them Death Note. I promise you, like, like if they're not intrigued by the first 15 episodes, but yeah, Death Note is such a good series, man. I'm talking about it on my second TikTok. Uh, it's called One Straw Hat. If you want to follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. The One Straw Hat and One Straw Hat. I have two TikTok accounts. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.